If you're intimidated by wiring up systems in your vehicle, then VNet is the solution for you. Think of this as like the interstate that's out in front of your house and you've got on-ramps and on one on-ramp is a Prius getting on the freeway, on another one is a 69 Camaro and then there's your neighbor on his Harley who's also getting onto that same highway. Well that highway is VNet. And the beauty of VNet is that regardless of what you're trying to connect to it, whether it be a pressure sensor, a temperature sensor, or a data logger or IQ3 dash, all of the things are considered equal to VNet, which means you can plug them in anywhere you want to along the string. There is no harness that you buy that determines whether you have to put one sensor in this location or this sensor in another. You absolutely get to set it up the way you want by utilizing different length extensions. In this example, we're going to connect three sensors to VNet along with our IQ3 dash and our V300SD data logger. So we take our VNet extension cable, we plug our pressure sensor, in this case it could be oil pressure, directly to the VNet cable. We take our IQ3 dash, also connect it. These are weatherproof connectors with a tab and a clip. Anybody can connect these and there's no confusion as to which direction. Now, if this is the front end of our cable in our vehicle, we go, gosh, this thing's empty. What do we do with that? Easy, small little weatherproof connector caps that just snap on just like any cable. Now, as we come along, we decide, oh, you know what? I also want to put a water temp gauge in. Huh, I got to put that sensor in. I better disconnect this and plug a new one in. It's literally that simple. There's no longer the having to fix a harness that you've already wired because you forgot something. Now we've got a trans temp sensor, which as you can tell is teed off in the middle between our extension cable on the front and a shorter one on the back. The different lengths of these allow you to create a harness of any size and any configuration. It's totally up to you whether you put your sensors in any particular location or another. So we are not going to dictate to you where you have to put things. Rather, we're going to let you put them where they make sense and then wire them simply and easily. And when you get to the end, everything is going here to our data logger. So you plug in your V300SD, take the happy little plug and plug it in. And now you have a complete VNet harness that easy and that quick. Once you have all of your components connected to VNet, there's still one more thing you have to do. You've got to sync your vehicle to your RacePack software in your laptop. And that's very simple. Think of it like buying a song online and then syncing it with your iPod or your iPhone or what have you. That's exactly what you're doing here. You're going to take the RacePack configuration file that they provide you and customize it a little bit. You're gonna tell it what this sensor is and what kind of data it's providing with some very simple settings so that it knows what to do with that information when you download it. And here's the steps for how you can change that configuration file to recognize any sensors you add. In this example, we will update a sportsman data logger with an oil pressure sensor. To update or sync your RacePack configuration file with your RacePack data logger or digital instrumentation, open the DataLink 2 software. Select the Read icon on the left-hand side of the screen or Edit and Read from the main menu at the top of the screen. The window now in view presents the option of selecting one configuration file as the default for use with all downloads and telemetry actions. This is best when using just one configuration file and allows all future download, read, and write functions to be executed without selecting a configuration file. The next selection allows you to proceed with the download process using the selected config file but not setting it as the default file. The third selection allows you to select another configuration file for the download process, while the last button cancels the download process completely. For this example, we select choice 3 and select Sportsman Configuration File. At this point, your PC will connect with your RacePack device and the new devices will be detected and automatically read into the config file. The information window that now appears provides the option to add the new channel 
or channels to the list of channels that will be displayed during a real-time or telemetry session. For example, we will select Yes, locate the new oil pressure channel in the All Defined Channels list, then move it using the right arrow to the list of currently selected real-time channels. Once updated, select the OK button. And finally, select the Save icon from the left side of your screen or File and Save from the main menu.